Should the Mavs re-sign Kyrie? It's almost a must, Skip. They got to at least try. Um, the qu Skip, I, it would be a no-brainer. If the most important thing was Kyrie was basketball, which he said the most important thing to him isn't basketball. If he was, he's Kyrie Irvin, but he loved the game like KD or LeBron or some of these other guys. Skip, it's a no-brainer. What are we discussing? What, what I mean, yep. that's all he wants. All he wants is five years for 272, 275. Mm -hmm. But because of the ancillary things that go on outside of the game, and everybody knows it's skip. I mean, it's hard now because everybody talk. So there are some things that probably transpired in Brooklyn, that probably transpired in Cleveland, yep. that probably transpired in Boston, that never made it to public ears. Mm -hmm. But guess who it did make it to? Those 30 owners, mm. those other owners around the league, those other execs around the league. And so that's the question that Mark Cuban is, 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 is juggling. Mm -hmm. Am I getting a guy that's on his best behavior because he's a changed man, family now, he got kids, or this is a guy just playing for the max contract, he gets his money, he might take two weeks off here, might decide he don't want to play there. How do, how do I determine that? Mm. And I think that's the tough position that Mark Cuban's in because there's no question. The talent says he's a max player. The behavior off the court says he's a three-year player. Yep. With some, wiggle, with some wiggle room for me to get out. Five years is a long, long time. Mm -hmm. When a player, Skip, when a player has that kind of leverage, has that kind of yeah. security, and that kind of leverage, they can give you your butt to kiss, yeah. and you basically got to kiss it. Yeah. And I don't think Mark Cuban is in the business of having to kiss Kyrie's butt. Now, if Kyrie has been, he's been exemplary since he's been, as far as I know, Skip, off uh, the court. I'm, I'm pretty sure. And he says he's never been happier. Well, if he says he's never been happier, hopefully that correlates to him being professional at all times. Yep. I got to, but Skip, I don't, I don't know how they let him just walk. I don't know if he's going to get the max, but Skip, they got to, he's going to, Mark Cuban has to do something because of what they gave up to get him. And you don't want this to be just a rental, mm. a rental property because it's really nice. Yep. I think you kind of want some ownership in that, in, the, in, in that joint. Yes. All right, here's my big picture issue with this. And I first guessed this. Kyrie and Luca do not fit. I am not blaming Kyrie. I'm actually complimenting Kyrie because as a Dallas Maverick, he in and of himself has been sensational. Yes. He's actually been too good for their own good mm -hmm. because it was clearly Luca's team. You have loved Luca from the start. Yep. You have called him Baby Bird, as in Larry Bird, as in, oh my God, we're going to get struck by lightning. But you have gone that far. And there have been moments when I sat back and said, man, he is really good yes. because you just can't keep him from scoring in the lane because he plays at this herky jerky, weird, different rhythm that nobody can time on defense. Mm -hmm. I give you all the above. In fact, there, there's a shot I should ask for the video, but he made a shot last night at the end of the game. Oh, to the three quarters he, court? He pushed it. He, he just, he shot it like you shoot a free throw right. with your feet on the floor. He just push shot it with one hand. And it's, it's, do, do you know how hard it is? Yeah. Do you know what strength is required yeah. to push a basketball yes. that far yes. and swish it? Yes. He's a trick shot artist. Yes. And he has way more natural strength than it appears to be oh, in, yeah, in that bad body yeah. body yes. that, that he's, he's camouflaged mm -hmm. in because he has got grown man strength or he would not be able to do in the lane what he does. Right. But it was clearly Kyrie's, I mean, uh, Luca's team, right? Yes. Clearly they beat the defending champ last year in seven games, 123 to 90 mm -hmm. at Phoenix. They went on and ran into the new buzzsaw, the recreated buzzsaw that was Steph's team in Golden State, but right. they got to the conference finals. Right. They were the four seed when Kyrie walked in the locker room door. They're now the 11 seed. They're hanging on for dear life. They survived in the fourth quarter only because Kyrie scored 19 points to Luka's two. Luca took two total shots in the fourth quarter to Kyrie's, wait a second, 11 shots? He took 11 shots to two? I, I'm Kyrie gonna, had 19 of the 31 points. Okay, okay I got it. <laughs> I'm going to say this one more time. Nobody seems to care about this. I think the sports world will soon catch up to this, but I'm going to say it again. In the fourth quarters and overtimes, they played together right. in Dallas for the Dallas Mavericks. 
Kyrie has attempted 103 shots to Luka's 50. Kyrie has taken more than oh. twice as many shots as the preseason MVP has taken in crunch time, in fourth quarter money time. In the fourth quarters, Baby Bird has become more of a dodo bird because he's a nothing. <laughs> he, 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 it, Shannon, I'm serious about this. He's got some pout in him. He's constantly complaining to the referees. Yep. He is pouting in the fourth quarters. He's basically saying to Mark Cuban, okay, you clearly brought him in to be our closer. Let him close. I'm going to play limited fourth quarter minutes. Here, here's the approximate minutes they played. Kyrie in the fourth quarters with on Lucas' team yep. as a Maverick has played 185 approximate minutes to, let me get exactly, it's 185 to about 100. Right. So it's about 85 more minutes. The point being, I don't even know what possesses Luka. He's like, he won't even play those first minutes of the fourth right. quarter. Kyrie almost always plays all 12. Yeah, he came in at 745, okay. Mark, last night and okay. played the rest of the way. 745. So that's four, that's four minutes and 15. Yeah. How many shots do you doing? think Kyrie can get up in four what minutes? Well, at least and, three, four. And and I'm I'm good. I'm, I'm not condemning or no. complaining about Kyrie. I'm not criticizing at all. I'm criticizing Mark Cuban because basketball, above all games, is a chemistry game. We're yes. seeing it with the Lakers. I love the new pieces. I love them without Russ and without Pat Bev. I don't love the Mavericks with Kyrie doing exactly the same things Luka used to do. Luka, what did he say the other day? I'm just not happy. What did he say the other day? Just two days ago, he said, yeah, I, I miss Jalen a lot. Well, yeah, he does because Jalen fit. When he needed Jalen to go get a hoop, he'd go, he'd go get him a bucket. Kyrie is the man in Dallas. This is feeling more and more like Kyrie's team and not Luka's team. So clearly, Mark Cuban, you want to talk about stuck? Not only is he stuck with the Kyrie who's played sensational basketball, he, he, what's your plan B? You, you don't right. have a way out of this, right? Because there's no Jalen Brunson available that can team perfectly with Luka. Right. Yeah. So right now, he's hanging on for dear life to, wait a second, my draw right now is Kyrie. Yeah. And Shannon, Kyrie in the fourth quarter last night, if we could see this quickly, I, I got the shots. He made seven shots. He made four, what did he make four? Yeah, he made four threes. If we could see these, bam, yeah, bam, Christian bam. Yeah, Woods were the only ones that scored in the fourth. Yeah. Here, here we go, Kyrie. Again, there's never been anything like this. The handle, the explosion, the, the movement, the ability to create. <laughs> Look at that. He's got defender all over him. And This is the shot you're talking okay, about. Yep, that's the shot. This is, thank you. Okay. That, that's, what am I supposed to do, that, Skip? I mean, too, I, I mean, it's too good. What does Mike Brown want me to do after the man it's does that? Too good. You, you, it, it, it's like kings are looking at each other, like, well, what are we supposed to do? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Once he gets it going like this, oh, it's over. Good night. You got to pick him up at half court. Yeah. Good night, Sack. Look at this. Okay. That's the Look old at hammer this. pass from the court. Skip, Look at the that. ball left the camera. That's crazy. I it, I, yeah. I know he shot it, and it just ends up in the net. It's crazy good. <laughs> He and he alone saved them in the fourth quarter. Yes. They are still breathing barely because of Kyrie yep. Irving. So what's Mark Cuban to do? He, he's in the precarious position of Kyrie's going to want that five-year 270 team. Yes, yes. I'll stay for that. Yes. What's Mark going to say? No, because I think at Kyrie's heart of hearts, his ultimate goal was to come out here and reunite yep. with LeBron because he's spoken about it again and again. Well, right now... Can Mark Cuban bear to lose him? I don't no. think so. No. And Skip, okay. you know, uh, Mark Cuban said it would have been nice to replace Brunson heading into the season. But now we know we can be great offensively. We know we have to get better defensively. And that's an easier problem to solve. Now, they got a promising guy. Jaden Hardy is really good. He is. But they got some big contracts. Yeah. Tim Hardaway Jr., Davis yeah. Berton, mm -hmm. Max Kleber. Okay. What? One or both? Two of those guys are going to have to go. If you get Kyrie to Max, you have to get, two, you have to get up off two of those. It's, it's really that simple, Skip. All right. Or you, or you're gonna be, and they're gonna really punish you in the luxury tax they this will. go around. Well, maybe he can afford it if he wants to. Yeah, but I have to. But let me ask you a question, Skip. Even with Kyrie, let's see what they can add defensively. Nobody's looking at the Mavericks to come out of the West. I still can't get it through my head how a team that that the core is still basically in place, how it played so much better defensively a year ago mm -hmm. than this year. I give you, it lost Dorian Finney-Smith, right. and he's a, he's a good defense. Not a great one, but a, but a very good one. But did you hear Lucas, Lucas say, I, 
I play so hard, it's hard for me to play on the other end. Okay. But I do got to get well, back. But we knew that from the start. And I, I think Luka, it's, you can't be that honest, though, Skip. Okay, all right, but it's ditto for Kyrie. I yes. think he's in the same boat. Yes. Okay, so you got two superstars. Offensive no players. Defense, no defense. Okay, I got it. Good luck. Skip, I agree with you. It is such a crazy slide. It's hard to wrap your head around where they were this time last year and where they are now. We will see what off-season moves they make to right the ship. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.